and the smallholder women farmers of Obodo, Nigeria, aka Swafon, they don't task the federal government and make them improve their funding for agriculture. And members of Swafon then gather for the unity fountain inside Abuja and say with more funding for agriculture, where they target women farmers, plenty of things fit they achieved, especially for the area for food security. And they still want more inclusiveness inside the government policy and sake of them, they constitute over 70% for Nigeria agricultural labor force. No farmer, no food on the table. No food on the table, no nation. And if that is the case, this sector is a very critical sector and it should not be neglected. The head of state, they met at their own level at the African Union and agreed that at least 10% of the total budget of every country should be allocated to the agricultural sector. Uh, despite the fact that we see this year's allocation is more than last year's allocation, but we still advocate for more increase in the sector. And if there is increase in the sector, we would also plead that a percentage of that increase should go to smallholder women farmers so that we can be able to produce the food we can feed this nation with. With the smaller allocation, we know how this sector is doing. What will happen if there is an increase in the budget allocation in this sector? We know that poverty will be handled. On behalf of the ministry, I would want to congratulate you for this very laudable campaign, because for Nigerian women farmers to come out to the federal capital and make known to government what their demands are, it's a very, very commendable thing. And I have to assure you that your, your comments have been noted, and I assure you on behalf of the ministry that we are going to take actions going forward. Hither though, we have been working with you, maybe on a small scale, but now we are going to work with women on a larger scale. <laughs> the ministry is, has also taken note of your demands, especially in the area of agricultural inputs as regards seeds and equipment. And the narrative now has changed in the ministry that whatever interventions we are doing, whatever support we are going to give to farmers, it should be demand driven. We are not buying what we want, we think the farmers should have. We are going to procure what we think, what the farmers say they want. Mm. Yeah. And we are going to start from the smallholder women farmers. Women farmers, oh yeah! Oh yeah.